Welcome to Human Resources for the People. It's a human capital revolution. If you like what you heard today, please like, share, and subscribe for more content about people-centered HR. Welcome back to Human Resources for the People. If you like what you hear today, please like, share, and subscribe. Now, today we're going to talk about the end of the uh, Port of Oakland strike happening for the truck drivers. So the truck drivers were protesting California's Assembly Bill 5, uh, short for AB 5. It was passed a couple of years ago, and it's California law that prevents employers from uh, classifying workers as uh, contractors, but rather as employees. And it was aimed at Grubhub, Uber, Lyft, and all the other gig economy um, employers, businesses. Uh, it was aimed at them, you know, uh, with the intention of making them hire people. Uh, of course, the unions drove the this law, but it was a little insane, uh, you know, it it did things like, for example, made people made bands who were playing a night at a bar. They all of a sudden had to become, they had to become employees of the bar itself. And so the state of California, I think in embarrassment, started sort of carving out uh, exceptions to the rule. And ultimately, you know, effectively gutted much of the the rule itself, even to include Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash. the The critical point w of this law actually has roots much deeper in the Dynamex ruling, and in the Dynamex ruling, you know, the C California Supreme Court said that employers, that businesses, should uh, presume workers are employees unless you can prove it otherwise. And they did that through an ABC test. And the ABC test is, uh, is the following. Uh, the worker is free from control and direction of the hire in connection with the performance of the work. The worker performs work that is outside the usual course of the hiring entity's business. And the worker is customarily engaged in an independently established trade occupation or business of the same nature as the work performed for the hiring entity. So in the case of a uh, artist, a musician who is uh, engaging in, in a, a, a night at the bar, playing a night at the bar, you know, the two and three are, are you know, functionally okay, right? The worker performs work outside the usual course as well as engaged in an independently established trade. However, you know, that musician has, uh, has is not free from control and direction. It, it has to perform at a certain time and at a certain um, area. So uh, they made a lot of exemptions, you know, and you can, you can see them here. Uh, they made these exemptions after the fact right they made these exemptions long after um they these were these were sort of new exemptions to it um and and so right now owner operators of truck uh, trucker trucking companies are not exempt from ab5 and so this is really critical to understand because truck drivers uh you know obviously operate in 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 function within California and have to be successful, um, and and as a result, there's concern that AB five might spread to other states like New Jersey, Illinois, Washington, and New York. The current administration, the Biden administration, has said that they would like AB five uh, across the United States, which. It, it, it takes to the form of a PRO Act, which you ought to take, take a look at the PRO Act. It's a really critical um, act that is just not acceptable, uh, but it is be, it has been pushed by the Biden administration. Uh, you know, so as a result, uh, the AB5 law is now law. So the Supreme Court refused to hear it. Uh, pushing the law back to January 1st, 2020. And 
the trucking companies aren't happy. So that moves us on to the strike itself. After the Supreme Court denied the request to hear the AB5, um, on July 18th, the truck drivers blocked the Port of Oakland protesting the law um, because it affects over 70,000 independent truckers who are scared of losing their livelihood. They plan to stage the protest through Wednesday but uh, it, and it started snarling the movement of goods in and out of the busy port. Uh, they started chanting free our drivers and there were more than a thousand people there on Tuesday. In addition, the unionists in the uh, in the Port of Oakland started uh, joining the battle as well as refusing to cross the lines. Uh, you know, they're concerned that it's going to put them out of business and, and they're fighting for their right to work. So, you know, this is a very difficult uh, situation, especially with the precarious nature of our supply chains in America. AB5 has a significant uh, potential of destroying the supply chains that come from the West. And as a result, uh, the United States will become less reliant on the on uh, on China and the other countries with respect to its goods, which is a good thing. But you know, it will cause inflation or further inflation as a result. Uh, so this the AB five, of course, like I said, went into effect at the end of June, but it over you know it it kind of upends the entire model of the independent owner operator uh, with respect to trucking. It, the intent, of course, was to force the gig dependent firms like Grubhub to compete fairly, but in reality is just going to cause trucking firms to leave the state of California. The, tr the truckers moved out of the Port of Oakland today uh, and moved into free speech zones where it's acceptable for them to protest and air their grievances. Um, they moved to the free speech zones as a result, or in order to not get arrested. Uh, they were being threatened, uh, and they were being threatened with their trucks being impounded and their lives being threatened even further by the California government. You know. The Port of Oakland has, uh, the Port Executive Director has stated that they would go to Sacramento to talk about AB5 to get another exemption. But really, this is another situation where the government is absolutely being destructive with respect to the supply chain, with respect to people's, uh, you know, ability to move and work freely and this is just another event in a long line of, you know, sort of egregious civil rights violations. Here, the government is getting involved with the willing exchange of, you know, exchange of money for goods, money for behaviors, and getting involved and then, you know, shutting down what people expect in their life. And, you know, I, I support the AB5 trucker protests. I, I think that, you know, it's really unfortunate that they even left the Port of Oakland. Uh, in my opinion, it should continue to be shut down until the state of California, you know, accurately and uh, completely understands their laws and, and, and the, the nature of independent contracting within the trucking business.